Hi, welcome to Dive Extras, and this is the third installment in the X-Ray series. So this morning I thought I'd do a little presentation on what we've done with the cable on the new X-Ray light. So I guess to start from the beginning, if we take a little look at the history of sort of cable glands on, on in canister lights, this is sort of, I guess, probably where it all started. It's a basic plumbing fitting screwed into the light head. Um, and then quite often there was a piece of heat shrink um, shoved on the end of there. Um, these got better over time. Um, there's a company in Europe called Agro that makes quite a nice cable gland with um, a rubber boot on the side and you'll see those on, on, on a lot of the lights now. Most companies seem to be using those. But the problem with all of those um, cable glands is the cable is like a pipe. If this, anything happens to the to the cable sheath, it's essentially just a hose pipe. Clear shot all the way through. Um, any damage, the water runs all the way through. And these cable glands are also um, straight through too. So the water, potentially any damage, goes straight into the light head. Now, different companies have been working on this for. Um, quite a while, but the, the the solution that everyone's come up with is sort of the dry sealed um, canister head. So I guess you allow the water to flow down through the cable gland into this head and then this head is sealed with another cable gland um, and this potentially stops the water leaking into the canister and getting your battery wet. So I guess it is an advancement but Reality is it's a bit of a band-aid because you've got all of this to solve a problem that starts out here. Now this problem has been solved a long time ago. Um, we're not doing anything new other than putting it on a dive light. Um, and what companies do if you were to go out and buy a high-end underwater cable or bulkhead connector is you have a water block in there. So we've done something similar on the x-ray. This is the cable. The both ends are the same. Um, there's a strain relief there um, and I've got one that is not connected to the canister or the light head right here so we've got an aluminum boss down the bottom here with a couple of o-rings so this plugs into the canister or the light head and gives you a really nice seal right there and then molded um, over molded for a good seal all the way around this um, aluminum is this plastic um, molding right here. And there's a strain relief to keep everything nice and that comes off like that um, and you can see that the cable runs straight into this molding here. Now what we've done is this cable is made specially made just for um, us. It's got a Sanoprene sheath. Now Sanoprene is a great um, really durable material. I'm sure you're familiar with um, these from our good friend it's at Deep Sea Supply. Um, this is Sanoprene too, extremely durable material um, that's also moldable. So we had this cable made with a Sanoprene sheath and we overmold this um, assembly in Sanoprene. So what you can see, kind of there maybe, is that um, it's one integral molding. So if I was to take this knife like this and start sort of hacking, hacking away all of this and I can cut all the way through the insulation let's hope that the camera's got enough res to show you this is that so I've sliced all the way through the middle of that molding and you can see that the cable still doesn't won't come out because what we've got here is all of this plastic material and you can see the white of the of the the insulator or the conductor sheath right there this is all one other than the color difference all these materials are exactly the same and they're all molded as one so even if I was to cut the cable right here, 
the water can flow through there it doesn't get any further in this molding because it's all one molding that's essentially sealed so what we've done is is yeah is formed this water block so that when this is installed on the canister or the light head even if you cut the cable um, through the outer sheath the water can only run to run to here and it will not flood your canister or your light head so we've done all that just in that component there solve the problem at the source as opposed to creating these large light heads and some of them get even larger um, or canister tops um, sort of more of a band-aid so anyway there you go thank you very much that is the water blocked cable that we have on the x-ray